Köszönöm, képviselő úr. Rebeka Harms frakcióvezető asszonynak adok szót. The night of the coup in Turkey was probably one of the saddest nights in my life, in my political life. Um, even only following by television what was going on in Turkey, I felt immediately that something is going to break. I'm clearly among those who say this coup must have consequences. There must be prosecution. But prosecution must be based on the rule of law in democratic states. And for democracy, one of the things which matters most is independence, is freedom for media, is pluralism of opinion. The situation, as Kati mentioned, for journalists was awful already um, in Turkey before the coup. But it has worsened a lot since the coup. So what Turkey needs, rule of law and democracy, cannot happen if more and more journalists are jailed. It's very good to know that people like Can Dündar tried uh, to help democratic development in Turkey. It's very good to know that famous writers like the Altan brothers are now paying in jail uh, because they advocated liberal ideas, liberal democracy for Turkey. But knowing those names for us in our discussions and in our work for democratic development also in Turkey, knowing those names is not enough. 130 people, men and women, who worked with the pencil, with the camera, with the microphone, with the computer, are in prison right now because they did their job. Journalism is not a crime. This is today our message to Turkey. It's our message to President Erdogan and the whole of the Turkish parliament. Those 130 persons, they have names, and there's a list published by P24, a very courageous media platform in Turkey. And I will start to read the list. Abdullah Kilic, Abdullah Özgürt, Ahmed Altan, Ahmed Memish, Ahmed Metin, Ahmed Turan Alkan, Ahmed Yavash, Alatin Günnar, Alatin Kaya, Ali Akush, Ali Balut, Bulac, Ali Ünal, Ali Tash, Aisha Nasli Ilicak. I know that my time is gone, Mrs. President, but I want all of you to know that 130 journalists is not only a figure. Behind this figure are persons, uh, are families, are people who are waiting that those courageous people will be free again. Thank you for your attention. Köszönöm, képviselő asszony. Kásztáldó képviselő úr következik egy percben.